Click on the subscribe button, especially the bell on the right side, otherwise you will miss the latest videos. Once again we are live on sub, uh, YouTube Sabtarish Astrology Ki Orbs, I am welcoming you all to the for upcoming webinars. Our speaker will give their brief on our uh, covering of the topics in the upcoming webinars. Uh, welcome to Sabtarish Astrology. I am with Pooja Ji. can you brief Can you give your brief introduction? Good evening to all. I am Pooja Sharma. I uh, I will my, uh, present uh, my topic in the webinar: How to forecast problems in the married life. I will use Bhagunandi uh, Nadi uh, and Dal Kitab techniques. They are very simple and easy to understand. Every can, uh, everyone can apply on the chart. And uh, 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 Lal Kitab technique uh, is very interesting. Uh, we can easily predict uh, some uh, if we uh, uh, see the planets and uh, 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 sorry. Uh, Lal Kitab uh, Kitab uh, technique is very uh, very simple. It is easily applied. We can easily see what problems in married life are and what problems are problem in married life. And what is the cause of the problem created? Family disputes, hai, neighbors, problem hai, career issues. Hai. या फाइनेंशियल क्रंच है या चाइल्ड इशू है हम आ, उसमें आ, बहुत इजीली देख सकते हैं तो उसमें हम बहुत इजी और इंटरेस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग जो है टेक्निक देंगे और ज्यादा से ज्यादा इस वेबिनार को सब ज्वाइन करें और आ, और, आ, और इसका लाभ उठाएं Thank you, Pooja Ji. Thank you very much. As you all know, we are having four days webinars, two day in English and two day in Hindi. So, we just, we, uh, yes. that is covering on, Pooja Ji, in which language you are covering? Uh, I will cover in both languages. Okay. Uh, huh, I will cover. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pooja Ji. Thank you very much for giving us a brief of your topic. Now, Vinayak Ji. सर अभी जिन्होंने ज्वाइन किया है उनसे एक बार जरा होस्ट मुझे देने के लिए बोलिएगा मुझे होस्ट बनाए अच्छा वन सेक आई डोंट नो हुज हु ज्वाइन इट हां ठीक है ठीक है मेरे पास आ गया आई थिंक अनिल सर होंगे अनिल जी आर यू देयर बडोरिया जी और अनिल सर हुज देयर मैं अनिल अनिल देसाई जी वेलकम वन सेकंड वन सेकंड ज्वाइन द कनेक्टिंग Anishji, are you there? Ready? Okay. Oh. Connect. Anishji. Yeah, welcome Anish ji. Thank you, Amit bhai. How are you? Fine, fine, fine. Anish ji, can you brief us what topic you are covering on our upcoming webinar? Uh, my topic is Astro Vastu and relationship and marriage. Sorry, okay. So this is a very, very interesting uh, topic. Why I will say it is interesting because a lot of people have some sort of yogas. And they do not know because of some... Uh, placement or some vastu challenges in their house, they make mistakes. And when they make mistakes and they say, 
I have a good yoga for my relationship or my marriage, but still I am facing a lot of challenges. So because of some sort of uh, wrong placement in their house, they are actually experiencing trouble or not a good, not 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 exactly a, a harmony in their relationship. <clears throat> so I will try to tell what to do. and from where we should find out what sort of problems we are uh, creating it is the problem created by ourselves no other person has done it your chart is saying there will be no issues at all but there are issue that means it is because of us only when we are saying because of us what to do or what wrong we have done so the astrovastu is a logic it is a method so that we correct things like or we align our house as per our chart like let me give you example if someone has a beautiful venus which is actually very very important uh, for a good relationship or a fantastic venus or a powerful venus a good venus but because of some uh, wrong placement or some wrong structure of house we spoiled it or reduce reduce the uh, uh, quality of that venus this is one example for example let me give you now structure wise we make uh, nowadays we have at least two or three washrooms in our house if washrooms are placed wrongly your chart is saying in this direction there should not be a washroom and you have a washroom in that direction and that washroom uh, and the venus is was actually owning that area and washroom was there relationship challenges will be there now what can say one can ask so venus own north west direction what should not have the toilet in north west answer is yes but this is the standard rule this is the standard rule when <coughs> when we have a different chart where venus is placed somewhere else in some other direction and you are creating uh, or you have toilet in that area there is a problem we need to address that and venus doesn't only Uh, work in northwest direction. There are other directions as well where Venus actually uh, has some energy. So we need to understand. Now, then there are other questions as well. The question is: husband and wife. There are two persons. So should we look at only one chart or both the charts? The answer is both. We need to see both the charts. and then decide what to do and what not to do so all these things i will brief although the session uh, is is a smaller session and this topic is huge i can speak on this topic i can give you rules maybe for 5 uh, uh, hours a day we can discuss for uh, 20 days 30 days or 50 days that much detail knowledge is required but i will share some special rules these rule one has to follow for stable relationship so i will share all these things in my session so i can assure you this if people will follow these rules they will have certainly better relationship experience will be better for sure no doubt about it see amit bhai amit bhai ha boliye baba ji aapko dhyan hai hum bahut baar aisa dekhte hain aap kumli milate hain aur kehte hain iska gun 12 gun mil raha hai 15 gun mil raha hai 16 gun mil raha hai but iske liye challenges nahi hai right 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 aur life boys smooth relationship bahut smooth chala बराबर है राइट 
but we have lot of charts we they have 25 guna uh, milan ho raha hai 27 gun milan ho raha hai 30 gun milan ho raha hai 32 gun milan ho raha hai and divorce ho gaya right 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 or the, these people do not love to see their partners dekhna bhi nahi chahte they do not listen about them they do not want to talk to them so there is no harmony at all right why this udhar to bahar gun wala 15 gun wala is enjoying life having very good fantastic relationship husband wife made for each other sort of scenario but here people who have a better uh, uh, quality of winners better quality of uh, gold winners charts are amazingly good through all routes you follow lal kitab you follow kp you follow nadi you follow where they all routes are matching <coughs> as per that chart is fantastic but still they are facing challenges why vastu may play an important role there so we need to see that <clears throat> is that vastu creating really uh, trouble or not if yes we need to correct it so this is one aspect second aspect we do not have a chart and people are married people married they have birth chart they does not match but they want to settle it what to correct they cannot change the chart you cannot change your birth chart it is not possible technically it is not possible you cannot go back 30 40 50 years and change your birth time it is not possible then what to do vastu is the only remedy for them we need to understand this why because it is said makan energy of a house plays important role in our life if we are saying <coughs> if we eat in in that way, let me let me uh, give you some reference then people will understand the logic is people say one should not be non vegetarian it should be one should be vegetarian it is our uh, vaishnav dharma that is a style of uh, living that is vaishnav one everyone should be vegetarian we we say this because if we have we eat junk food more will have non veg more will have a non vegetarian food more or will have more spicy food we will become gradually aggressive if one time food once a week food can impact your nature please understand the our body is made up of 70% of water and you that water you are drinking every day from your house please understand the energy of that house will go into that water and you are drinking water every day at least four to five times in a day or you can say minimum one to two liters every day you drink and your body is 70% from water the primary element is water and water whatever you are drinking has a bad energy so everything is going every day so agar ek time ka khana in a week or thrice a week even can impact your life can impact on uh, uh, give impact on your thought process तो वो पानी क्या करने वाला है वो तो सब कुछ बदल देगा आई दिस गिविंग यू वन एग्जाम्पल नॉट ओनली वॉटर वी हैव ऑल फाइव एलिमेंट देर एयर एनर्जी एज वेल देर इज अर्थ एनर्जी एज वेल अंतरिक्ष आकाशीय का जो सोलर जो आता है एनर्जी दैट इज ऑल्सो देयर प्रेजेंट स्ट्रक्चर एनर्जी इज ऑल्सो देयर आपके घर में यूज लकड़ी से दरवाजे बने होते हैं बहुत सारे लोगों के घर में रीयूज किया हुआ होता है मटेरियल उसका इंपैक्ट आता है चीजों के प्लेसमेंट का इंपैक्ट आता है 
I am not only talking about structure. Structure comes in standard vastu. We can also talk about the placement of things. You have fridge in this direction, there will be impact on you for sure. You have AC in this direction, there will be impact on you. No doubt about it. Every item is represented by a planet. Your gas burner, your microwave is represented by fire. This is a fire element. Who will address? Who will handle? Sudden birds? This is both a fire. So if fire is placed wrongly or water is placed wrongly at a, at a wrong, uh, uh, sorry, placed at a wrong place, then what will happen? Uska negative impact upper aega hi aega. Lot of people say we do not have good yoga in our chart, but life was smooth. Lot of people say ah, this Raj Yoga, that Raj Yoga, ah, this, this yoga. But life has a lot of ups and downs. Why so? We need to understand. Everyone should understand. And this Vatu is given by our this ancient science. Rishi Muni is told about it. Now our structure, lifestyle is changed, how structure is changed, we have done some more researches, find, uh, 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 search few more things, there are no, lot of articles, there was no, uh, you can say, uh, hop there at your place. There was, there was no chimney earlier. There was no refrigerator, there was no AC. Now we have everything. Toilet was always outside. Now we have two, three toilets inside our house. Minimum two, we all have. And people who have bigger house, they have four or five toilets. One for this bedroom, one for this bedroom, one for this child, one for the master bedroom, and one for guest. And then, if we have independent house, on the rooftop, we have one more toilet, if we are there. Then there is a storage pool inside my house, there is a toilet attached. Early we were saying there should not be any toilet. Now we are talking about the big house, five, seven toilets. That is a negative energy. We are generating. All toilets are generating negative energy for sure. We need to settle it. So what should be and where should be? We need to understand all these things. This lecture will be a primary lecture, just give you some inputs, how to think about it, what to do, what not to do. This will be the first one, first step towards correcting those things. This session is related to uh, relationship, so I'll be more focusing on relationship. So that is why I was talking about Venus. I'll be talking about other things as well. Maybe some other time. When we have, we'll have uh, other sessions, maybe next time, I, I'll be definitely talking more impact of Vastu on our health, on our wealth. So we will be discussing all those things gradually, one by one. But yes, these sessions are very, very important. So and, uh, we are talking nowadays, we are more discussing about relationship challenges. Even my last few videos was also on relationship challenges. If people are there, they can go back to our channel, they can search relationship challenges, they will find multiple videos. I have given a number of rules there. So, I will be discussing all this thing. This is just, I just wanted to set a platform where people can understand what I want to uh, show, what I want to discuss, they should understand. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank you, uh, as you all have heard, you all have heard, he is having an excellent lecture, be present, don't miss the opportunity, kindly grab the opportunity, we are having an excellent two day, four day webinar. Now I welcome uh, uh, Upendra Singh Ji, are you there? Upendra Singh Ji, Prakash Ji, aap. Parasar ji, yeah, Prakash ji, 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 
Uh, you can uh, just uh, welcome to Saptarish Astrology. Thank you so much, Amit ji. Good evening. Kindly tell us so uh, what topic you are covering on uh, to the four-day webinars, please. Amit ji, I'll be covering um, uh, marital curse or uh, bliss. Uh, my topic will be ki... Prakash ji. Ji. Amit ji, my voice is coming. Hello, Amit ji. 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 Hello, वॉइस क्रैक हो रहा है वॉइस क्रैक हो रहा है ओके ठीक है मुझे दो मिनट दीजिए मैं वीडियो अपना ऑफ करता हूँ तो तो आई टेक अस आई मैं आई टेक बड़ोरिया जी कैन यू वेलकम टू सत्तर सिस्टर जी बड़ोरिया जी यू आर तो बड़ोरिया जी वेलकम टू सत्तर सिस्टर जी नमस्कार सर कैन यू ब्रीफ व्हाट टॉपिक यू आर Yes, I am going to cover the most important event of our life, that is marriage, and when it is going to take place in our life, and how to predict it through horoscope. I will cover that uh, topic. When uh, you will going to marry, how to identify it from various uh, system is there to identify the marriage. And there are a lot of uh, techniques, and a very few of them is given by my guru C S Patel. And I am blending all those the uh, all those techniques with the Ashtakvarga, and uh, I am predicting. Most probably, I get the positive result whenever I am predicting. Uh, this marriage so ashtakvarga is also play very nice role or very positive or negative role in our marriage life or marriage timing same way nomonsa as we know we are talking about whenever we are talking about nomonsa we say that nomonsa is uh, very very useful for marriage analysis or to find out the partner okay because why uh, nomos is that much important there are so many divisional chart in astrology but we know the nomos is the most important chart for marriage analysis because it is related with the ninth house and ninth house is the house of dharma and we are uh, going to marry with a woman or we are going to marry with a man to from the dharma because our, our ultimate um, goal of our life is uh, moksha or liberation okay so it is very important thing so uh, there are so many techniques uh, regarding uh, nomos when uh, how to utilize that nomos and uh, it is very easy is not that much uh, hard it is not that much complicated as we are thinking about the it and as you know before 50 years a very rare case of uh, uh, divorce or disturbance in marriage life why it is so it is very oftenly happen in our sort of society nowadays what is reason behind it there is main reason is intolerance nobody is going to tolerance their partner they are very prejudiced they from day first they are prejudiced okay fighting was also there before 50 years also but nowadays every fight it leads to the divorce or to the separation why it is so so it is a, a it's it is the part of our society we are living in this society and nowadays everywhere you find intolerances 
and so intolerance is, is very dangerous to us okay so so how to find out that tolerance is limit of a person or a, um, a man or a woman or a boy or a girl through uh, astrology so it is uh, uh, so there is astrak work is very useful and whenever tolerance is come in picture your moon your moon play the big role and um, in uh, our uh, society or in our indian uh, point of view we are matching horoscope what is matching so we are finding actually we are finding our uh, a partner of our previous life okay it is the way to find out the partner of previous life so it is just finding of partner of previous life if you are partner of previous life uh, how you have um, done a life with that person in previous life it is most important if it was very good you will enjoy your life okay <laughs> if it was very bad in Uh, your last in your previous life it is not well so it depend upon your uh, karma of previous life is carried out by moon only okay hence we are giving most importance to the moon in our vedic astrology so i will give you some clues about the moon even as we know Uh, when prashna marg prashna marg we whenever we are talking about the prashna marg it is the best book it is the one of the best book of the astrology as everybody knows about it so in prashna marg there is some certain rules about the chandrashtak okay uh, in your chandrashtak in which rashi there are so many more than 5 or 6 bindus are there and if you find such a person in your life okay either you are girl or you are boy okay if you are boy you will get the girl of that rashi in your life it will be beneficial to you if you are girl if you will get the boy of that rashi you will be beneficial and your life remain very prosperous okay so likewise i can give you some clues okay so thank you bodora ji thank you very much okay thank, thank you sir thank you thank you bora sir ji hello yeah welcome to saptarish astrology bora sir ji ha ji ha ji um ek second ji ya ji ek second हेलो परासर जी वेलकम टू सप्तरिश एस्ट्रोलॉजी कैन यू ब्रीफ अस व्हाट टॉपिक यू आर कवरिंग ऑन फूड इवेंट यस यस यू शुड हैव स्पीक इन इंग्लिश और हिंदी प्रोबेबली आई थिंक दैट यू कैन स्पीक इन इंग्लिश इट इज बेटर वन ओके आई विल स्पीक इन इंग्लिश हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज के के पराशर फ्रॉम मुंबई वेल माय सब्जेक्ट इज सेकंड मैरिज एंड व्हेन नो uh this is very interesting subject because uh basically what it means is there has to be yogas in your horoscope which show more than one marriage so what i have done is i have taken out 27 yogas from uh mrs gatri devi vasudev's book the art of matching charts no these yogas basically indicates more than one marriage you know second marriage will happen only once your uh, first marriage uh, dilutes i mean uh, either you are divorced either uh, you become a widow or uh, even there are three yogas where it says having a wife and also another wife Uh, while the first is also living that means having a having two wives at the same time 
there are three yogas so this is the basic basic concept of my talk and then i have discussed a uh, few charts uh, the first chart is of a man who is already married and about 5 6 years back uh in uh, uh mercury dasha venus anta dasha he got another wife installed her in some uh, house and uh so he is maintaining two wives at the same time maybe one is unofficial then i have a chart of uh, uh, basha akbar now as you see as you have uh, you must have read about him while reading history he had a harem now in a horoscope horoscope when there is an exalted planet in the lagna it gives more than one marriage now in akbar's case it is the uh, libra lagna with saturn in it and also venus with it no venus afflicted by any of the malefic planets is not a happy event is uh gives extra marital affairs i mean as we see it today but in olden times it was having more than one wife and also jupiter is there so he had a good harem uh during uh, his tenure as the basha of his kingdom then i have got a horoscope uh, got horoscope of a couple both of them got married to different people then they got divorced both of them got divorced and met and then they married uh each other so like this i have got another one and plus with all these showing more than one marriage we have antidotes also that means there are antidotes which can cancel these more than one marriage cases and make the other marriage work out so like there's one very interesting point any relationship between jupiter and venus venus the carta of marriage any relationship between them will make a marriage work whatever the case may be the whole horoscope as far as marriage part is concerned may be bad but if there is a if there is a uh, connection between sorry jupiter and venus then the marriage works out whatever the case is may be so same way there are a few points which uh, show that uh, the antidotes for more than one marriage and lastly the point is when question this question is very important when so what i have understood and what i have seen that this when comes there are, uh, i have uh, i have made it uh, i have made a chart there's point 1 point 2 point 3 like this and complete details so what i do is i fill it up when somebody comes for marriage purposes i fill it up uh, and then come to dasha anta dasha patanta dasha of uh, coming to the marriage point and also the gochar of jupiter and saturn and also in this i have added up i had 10 horoscopes i worked on them in detail and uh, found out certain points which i have put my own working into that charts 
like any connection of ninth house, ninth lord, or tenth house, tenth lord would give a marriage. If, but if if the planets are really strong, only then they give out marriage. Any any anywhere for that matters. Now, I'll give you an example. Uh, recently, I have uh, come across a horoscope uh, where uh, Lagna is Scorpio. So, seventh house is Taurus. That is, Lord is uh, uh, Venus. And besides Venus, Venus is also the Karka for marriage. Now, this uh, Venus is combust by the rays of the sun. So here, double problem is there. Venus is combust and it is also the seventh lord and also the karka for marriage. Now this fellow is 48 years and he is getting married now after doing uh, certain upais like Basically, for Venus, I've done a lot of uh, uh, a few lectures on webinar of Saptrishi, where I've discussed Venus. The best course is to give kheer material. Kheer material means milk, sugar, and uh, rice, with which one can make uh, kheer. So giving that uh, kheer material works ideally for anywhere when the venus is weak so this fellow at the age of 48 and mind it he is a pilot in air india earning uh, i think nearly two lakh rupees per month but still marriage was eluding him so uh, uh, this uh, strength of venus matters a lot in any horoscope and uh, whatever i have uh, done my practice session uh, after that i have got one horoscope where i want to uh, show that horoscope uh, the man suddenly uh, lost his wife uh, by uh, death and then in that he uh, he lost his wife in january and in december he got another wife because he had uh, growing up teenage girls as his daughters and he was rather forced or you may say he was uh, i mean uh, the family pressure uh, he got married to a lady who was not married and she was around what 40 plus now, this particular horoscope, I have not put in my uh, this uh, PPT, but in case uh, Ahmad Bhai or, uh, or Sunil Bhai, they allow me to uh, allow me another five minutes, I'll discuss this uh, last case which I've just told you. Yeah, yeah, you can go ahead, sir. No, no, not now, not now. I'll, I'll show it on uh, Saturday. Uh, yeah. If, in case you allow me, I'll add up this uh, particular horoscope uh, where the man suddenly lost his wife and uh, then he lost his in, in January and then in December he got married to another lady because he had uh, growing up teenage girls uh, as his daughters and the family forced him, you know, you must get married so that these girls are looked after. So in case you give me five minutes after my lecture is over, I'll discuss that chart. Otherwise, uh, well, my lecture will be over by then. No time. problem, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But that's all. Thank I you, sir. Thank you very much. Right. Bye. Thank you, sir. Okay. Now I welcome uh, Devi Chanji. Devi Chanji, are you there? Namaste, ji. नमस्ते देवी चंद जी सप्तरिषि एस्ट्रोलॉजी चार दिन का वेबिनार कर रहा है जस्ट मैं आपको बताना चाहता हूं 
देविता जी वन मिनट मैरिज के टॉपिक से कनेक्टेड है मगर मैरिज के जो इश्यूज है उसके दैट व्हाट वी आर कवरिंग हम लोग मैरिज के इश्यू कवर कर रहे थे पर्टिकुलरली टू डेज टाइम काफी डिवोर्स के केस हो रहे हैं काफी डिवोर्स के न्यू डिस्टेंस ऑफ डिफरेंस ऑफ ओपिनियन के हिसाब से और काफी सेपरेशन के केसेस हो रहे हैं काफी लिव इन रिलेशन के केसेस हो रहे हैं तो ऑल इश्यूज कनेक्टिंग टू मैरिज वी आर कवरिंग ऑन वेरियस ब्रांचेज ऑफ एस्ट्रोलॉजी के लेके हम लोग कवर कर रहे हैं टू डे इन इंग्लिश ट्वेंटी टू एंड ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ जनवरी इन इंग्लिश में है और ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ और थर्टी को हिंदी में कर रहे हैं तो आई जस्ट वुड लाइक टू से दिस इज अ ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू सो काइंडली ग्रैब इट आपके हिंदी वालों के लिए भी ये टाइम हम लोग ने सेपरेट करके एक फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ सप्ते एस्ट्रोलॉजी हम लोग सेम ही कंटेंट को लेके दो हिंदी और इंग्लिश दोनों लैंग्वेज में कर रहे हैं सो so, be present anyway i welcome uh, devichand ji devichand ji can you aap bata sakte batayenge zara hamare darshakon ko kya aap kaun sa vishay cover kar rahe hain aur kya topic aapka hai hamare char din ke webinar mein dekho main to marriage mein bahut sare issue aa rahe hain to 1950 ke pehle log marriage mein itne प्रॉब्लम्स नहीं आते थे जितने भी आ रहे हैं उस टाइम पे खाली डेथ होता था या नहीं तो कोई सरकमस्टेंस प्रॉब्लम हो जाते थे कोई रूल से चला जाता था ये बातें होती थी और आज के जमाने में क्या है कि बहुत सारे मैरिज होने के बाद भी डाइवर्स हो जाता है इंडिपेंडेंस लेडीज लोगों का इंडिपेंडेंस बढ़ने से उनको सर थोड़ा माइक को माइक को पकड़ लेंगे आप जवाब स्लो आ रही है हाँ डिपेंड जो होता है ना डिपेंड वो के नहीं है सब बंद हो गया है हाँ तो डिपेंडिंग नहीं रहने से क्या हो गया कि बहुत सारे डाइवर्स होने के ज्यादा चांस बढ़ रहे हैं एक तो और हम भी कुछ आगे बढ़ सकते हैं और पुरुष को भी लगता है कि कुछ हो डाइवर्स भी हो गया तो फिर मिल जाएगा ऐसा एक कॉमनली सेंस हो गया है पहले ऐसा नहीं था और कई लोग शादी के बंधन में ही नहीं रहना चाहते तो उसको लिविंग रिलेशन बोलते हैं तो वो कहीं ना कहीं एक लाइफ में उनके जीवन में कुछ ऐसी घटनाएं उनके नियर या उनके साथ में घट जाती है तो उनके ऊपर प्रभाव गिरता है वो फिर कई लोग मैरिज के बाद लिविंग रिलेशन में चले जाते हैं मैरिज भी नहीं करते लिविंग रिलेशन में ही रहते हैं इस तरह से बहुत सारी चीजें होती हैं तो मेरा वहाँ पे दो टॉपिक है एक तो लिविंग रिलेशन के बारे में पूरी जानकारी दी जाएगी और दूसरा क्या कि जो अफेयर्स होते हैं यंग एज में वो अफेयर्स होने के बाद शादी होके रहेगी या नहीं होगी दो बातें उसमें होगी और अफेयर होने के बाद वो अफेयर के डेट्स कैसे पकड़ पाएंगे आप कब होगा वो यंग एज में अफेयर्स कभी होते हैं वो ईयर्स होते हैं दशा अंतर दशा और पतन दशा में वो ईयर्स कैसे आप कुंडली के हिसाब से जान सकेंगे उसके लिए मैं दोनों में एक एक कुंडली दिखाऊंगा लेकिन मेजर आपको फार्मूला दूंगा वो फार्मूला ज्यादा यूज करो क्योंकि कुंडलिया में कई बार वो सेम पॉइंट्स नहीं मिलते लेकिन फार्मूले में सेम पॉइंट्स मिल जाते हैं तो यहाँ पे लिविंग का मतलब होता है कि वो भी एक टाइप का पहले जमाने में गंधर्व विवाह का जो नियम था जो दुनिया को पता नहीं रहता था उसी रिलेटेड को लिविंग रिलेशन कहा जाता है जो अनजान है किसी को पता नहीं है जब जग जाहिर होता है या सबके सामने हम उसको ओपन करते हैं सबके सामने विवाह करते हैं उसको हम बोलते हैं लिविंग नहीं प्रॉपर मैरिज बोलते हैं तो कहीं ना कहीं ये सिद्धांत अभी से नहीं पहले से होते आ रहा है लेकिन पहले के जमाने में उसको अलग नाम से गिनते थे और आज के जमाने में अलग नाम से गिनते हैं तो जो भी ग्रह होते हैं वो सब सिर्फ पंचमेश सप्तमेश और लिविंग रिलेशन में ट्वेल्थ हाउस भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होता है और उसमें उसकी ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंस बढ़ जाती है ट्वेल्थ हाउस और थर्ड हाउस की लिविंग रेस में अभी इतना ही मैं बताऊंगा बाकी तो आपको जो है उस दिन हमारे प्रोग्राम में बताऊंगा कि क्या इंपॉर्टेंट है कैसे ये काम करते हैं और जो डेट्स होते हैं मेजर करके प्रत्यंतर दशा जब केतु की चलती है उसमें विजुअलाइजेशन होता है वो विजुअलाइजेशन वो जाके अफेयर में कनेक्ट होता है कब होता है 
वो आगे की कैसे होता है हम उसके बारे में पूरी जानकारी वो सेकेंड टॉपिक में देने वाले और ये डेट्स मैंने तो जो पांच सौ से ज्यादा कुंडली देखेंगे और अफेयर्स की डेट मेरे को पता चलते तो लग दंग हो जाते कि आपको डेट कैसे पता चलते हम लोग कब मिले और हमने कब बातचीत की है ये सब पता चलता है और जिसका होने वाला रहेगा तो हम बोलते हैं कि आपका भी मिलने वाला है तो उसी टाइम पे वो मिल भी जाता है और उसके रिजल्ट आते हैं और जिसका होने वाला रहता है हम बोलते हैं उसको जाओ वो हेड और जिसका होने वाला नहीं है आप संभल के रहो बोलते हैं क्योंकि वहाँ पे वो प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट कर सकते हैं और वो ब्रेक ही हो जाता है तो ब्रेक होगा आप फिर होते कि वो लाइफ टाइम का पार्टनर बनेगा एक टॉपिक रहेगा अपना और दूसरा टॉपिक है लिविंग रिलेशन के रिलेटेड तो दोनों इज डिफरेंट टॉपिक है एकदम और कुंडली से कैसे देखा जाए और क्या करें उसके लिए कैसे हम अच्छी चीजों को डेवलप करें और बुरी चीजों को कैसे बचे लिविंग किस एरिया में सफलता देती है किस एरिया में सफलता नहीं देती है ये भी हम थोड़ा उसमें जानकारी दे देंगे क्योंकि कहीं कहीं पे ये भी प्रॉब्लम्स क्रिएट होते कि ये तो इंडिया में अच्छा नहीं है लेकिन कहीं कहीं पे अभी ये वेस्टर्न जो सिस्टम है इंडिया में भी चलते आ रहा है ऐसा लोगों को समझ है लेकिन ऐसा नहीं है पहले से भी है ये लेकिन ये सब साइलेंट मोड थी अभी ये सब डिजिटल की दुनिया में सब ओपन हो रहा है और कुछ नहीं है इतना कह रहा हूँ मैं बस और उस दिन का टॉपिक आप ज्वाइन कीजिए सप्तृषि आश्रम जी बहुत ही अच्छी चार दिन का वेबिनार बना रहा है उसमें ज्वाइन करके अपने इसमें पूरे सभी एक से एक एस्ट्रोलॉजर है यहाँ पे हमारे तो हर एक से कुछ अलग जानकारी और जितनी आप उसी चीज के बारे में ज्यादा जानकारी लेते रहेंगे तो ज्यादा से ज्यादा आपको नॉलेज बढ़ेगा एस्ट्रोलॉजी फील्ड के अंदर और आप सही किसी को रास्ता दिखा सकते हैं इतना कहते हुए नमस्ते कहता हूँ सब जी और अपने नमस्ते थैंक यू हरिमत देवीचंद जी एक इंसान के जीवन में दो सबसे महत्वपूर्ण पहलू होते हैं टर्निंग पॉइंट ऑफ लाइफ एक तो एजुकेशन कंप्लीट करके जब पहला कदम अपने इनकम सोर्स के लिए गए नौकरी के लिए जाए जॉब के लिए जाता है या बिजनेस के लिए स्टार्ट करता है करियर वो एक बड़ा टर्निंग पॉइंट होता है एक बिग इवेंट ऑफ लाइफ बोला जाता है दूसरा जिन जीवन का इवेंट होता है मैरिज जिसमें एक कैरेक्टर उसके लाइफ में आता है एक पात्र उसके जीवन में प्रवेश होता है और दोनों को साथ में मिल के जीवन बिताना है पहले के जमाने में आज के जमाने में क्या फर्क है कुंडली मिलान कैसे करना चाहिए कुंडली मिलान में क्या देखना चाहिए कुंडली मिलान होने के बावजूद भी कितने किस्सों में हम लोग ने देखा है कि डिवोर्स हो रहे हैं तो किस तरह से मिलान करना चाहिए किस तरह से हर पहलू को देखना चाहिए ये सब लेकर आ रहा है सप्तरिश एस्ट्रोलॉजी फोर डेज वेबिनार नॉट ऑन मैरिज टाइमिंग एंड ऑल दैट बट अष्टक वर्ग है उससे कैसे मिलान करना चाहिए नाड़ी भृगुनंदी नाड़ी से कैसे मिलान करना चाहिए जैसे अभी देवीचंद जी ने बताया पराशर जी ने बताया बग्गा जी ने बताया हमारे सभी स्पीकर लोग प्रकाश जी ने बताया उपेंद्र सिंह जी ने बताया सभी स्पीकर लोग टोटल वी आर बिना की हाउ मेनी स्पीकर आर देर आई थिंक ट्वेंटी सेवन स्पीकर सो ये एक बहुत महत्वपूर्ण अपने हर सभी के जीवन में लगते हुए टच करता हुआ सब्जेक्ट है तो ये आपके फ्यूचर के लिए आपके किसी के गाइडेंस के लिए आपके बच्चों के गाइडेंस के लिए आपके किसी के रिलेटिव्स के लिए दैट इज अ वेरी गुड फॉर यू नॉलेज सो आई वंस अगेन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिनार्स ऑफ सप्तरी एस्ट्रोलॉजी थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक्स अ लॉट विनायक जी ओवर टू यू यस सर थैंक्स फॉर दिस इंट्रोडक्शन एंड सुन एवरी वन कैन फाइंड दी रजिस्ट्रेशन लिंक Uh, for this webinar in the chat section also in the description section of our video can we okay, sorry to interrupt can we show our uh, jpeg slides to the people so that those who want to contribute or they want to join they can have a yeah 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 i'm i'm showing it sir let me share the screen we call uh, खाली ज्योतिष के पहलू से नहीं हो रहा है इसमें हम लोग बैलेंस ऑफ माइंड क्या रखना चाहिए दृष्टिकोण से आपको मैरिज में आ, आगे बढ़ना चाहिए प्रैक्टिकल इन लाइफ रिगार्डिंग मैरिज आपकी कुंडली में योग जिस तरह है उस तरह के आपको प्रैक्टिकल उसको एक्सेप्ट करके यू टू प्रैक्टिकली अप्रोच करके आगे बढ़ना चाहिए ये सभी चैलेंज मीन्स वी आर 
come up with the, all the areas of connecting to marriage and we wish that everybody's life in future mein marriage life will prosperous over good hai wo achhi rahe aur they can prosperous in their life ye pure criteria sabhi subject ko topic ko cover karte hue we are coming up with four day webinar two day in english two day in hindi hmm aur ye char din ke webinar mein sare topics jo hain aapko hamare website pe mil jayenge can you make it full screen sir if you don't mind वो भी हमारे साथ इस बार जुड़ने वाले हैं हाँ जी तो इस बार हमारे साथ सतीश मेनन जी भी हैं तो आई होप जिन्होंने हमारी लास्ट मास्टर सीरीज अटेंड करी उनको पता होगा कि सतीश मेनन जी ने लास्ट टाइम केरला प्रश्न सिस्टम पे उन्होंने लेक्चर लिया था और इस बार इनका जो टॉपिक है नो मैरिज योगा अब ये जो ये जो हर टॉपिक जो हमारे आपको स्क्रीन पे आपको दिखाई देंगे वो सारे टॉपिक सेम हमारे इंग्लिश में भी लेक्चर्स हैं सेम टॉपिक पे हमारे हिंदी में भी लेक्चर्स होंगे तो ये इस बार की स्पेशलिटी uh, है इसकी सो so, आप सब इसको जल्द से जल्दी इसको ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं कैन यू शो द आवर द यूएसए एस्ट्रोलॉजर्स डिटेल टॉपिक एंड नेम्स प्लीज यस 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 सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट फ्रॉम साइमन चोकोस्की The topic is Jupiter and Saturn's effect on relationship. So, ये lecture, this lecture is basically based on these two planets, Jupiter and Saturn, and their effects on marriage and relationship. So, this lecture is uh, from Mr. Simon, and then we have next speaker. Uh, Gary Gomes and he is taking lecture on combinations for multiple marriages and relationship. And here with him Pandya ji, he is also from US and he is take he is going to talk on qualities and direction of spouse. So these are uh, some topics which are very interesting and there is one uh, thing is uh, one book. the topic was actually not revealed yet but uh, soon on the day of uh, webinar we will announce it you can see bonus lecture on timing in love affair so this is a bonus lecture so total we have 30 lectures this time so almost every area we are covering from vedic nadi bhrugunadi bhrugunandi nadi even uh, lal kitab kp almost all kind of uh, branches we are touching this time and all these are only on one topic marriage and relationship so aap log amantrit hain is webinar ke liye aap log isko join kar sakte hain theek hai mr so i hope aap mute pe hain i think that uh, uh, can you close, close? can you close this uh, slide please yes yeah the uh, yeah, like, i think that we completed major uh, right yeah sir mm -hmm. okay sir thank you very much once again we'll meet on weekend please thank you very much